Welcome to Bible Stories, where we delve into the profound truths and captivating narratives found within the pages of Scripture. Today, we embark on an enlightening exploration of heaven, our eternal home as revealed in the Bible. Join me as we uncover the breathtaking details of this celestial realm, dispelling common misconceptions and igniting a renewed sense of anticipation for what awaits believers. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and share this video with your loved ones. Let's dive into the wonders of heaven together. Heaven, a concept that ignites our imagination, often evokes images of a majestic paradise filled with light. We envision choirs of angels singing and peaceful souls drifting along fluffy clouds towards pearly gates. Perhaps we imagine our departed loved ones joyfully reunited, free from earthly suffering for eternity. However, do these images align with the biblical truth about heaven? What does scripture actually say about heaven? And what will believers in Christ do there? Will we spend our time in heaven floating on clouds playing harps? Will we recognize and reunite with family and friends? Does the Bible describe angels with wings and halos singing? Many popular conceptions of heaven, whether from art or culture, are more artistic interpretations than direct representations from God's Word. Exploring the accurate biblical details can still leave us with questions or fail to address common misunderstandings. In this video, I aim to paint a comprehensive Bible-based picture of heaven and the divine activities awaiting believers. By examining scripture verse by verse, we'll delve into three key aspects. First, we'll explore the physical nature and characteristics of heaven. Second, we'll discuss the activities and pastimes believers will participate in. Third, we'll address common misconceptions that arise when human interpretations deviate from scriptural truth. My objective is to inspire a fresh sense of awe and anticipation for our promised eternal home. Through a biblically accurate portrayal, I want you to envision the breathtaking experience of dwelling in the glorious kingdom of the Lord forever. Are you ready? Let's delve into the wonders of heaven, a place beyond human imagination, but revealed to us through scripture. Described in Revelation 21 and 22, God's magnificent holy city spans over 1400 miles in width and height. It features pearly gates and high walls adorned with a variety of precious jewels. The streets are made of pure gold, as clear as glass and refined to ultimate purity, upon which believers will walk. This vast heavenly capital shines with the fullness of God's glory, illuminated not by the sun or moon, but by the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb Jesus Christ. A soothing river known as the water of life flows from God's throne through the city center, lined by the tree of life whose leaves bring healing to the nations. These depictions hint at an awe-inspiring panorama, yet the actual sensory experience in heaven must surpass even these lofty images. In heaven there will be no suffering, tears, grief, or pain. All previous hardships and burdens will be wiped away forever, replaced only by unrestrained joy and abundant life in the full presence of the Almighty. C.S. Lewis beautifully captured this anticipated transformation, likening it to a door that we have been knocking on all our lives, which will finally open to reveal wonders beyond imagination. The pleasures of earthly life pale in comparison to the boundless bliss awaiting us in our true home. The physical splendors of heaven will continually fill us with indescribable joy as we dwell in its perfect eternity. Contrary to amusing cartoons depicting deceased souls mindlessly playing harps on clouds, the Bible reveals far more glorious activities awaiting believers in heaven for eternity. Our eternal existence will be marked by continuous worship of God and engagement in righteous community and creativity. In Revelation 4.10, elders surrounding God's throne continuously declare, 
Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, laying their crowns before the throne in reverence. Revelation 19 depicts vast heavenly multitudes shouting, Hallelujah! Praising God for His righteous judgments that lead to the final defeat of evil. We too will join in this ceaseless chorus of saints glorifying our King. The sheer majesty of God's presence naturally inspires us to praise Him. Unlike any earthly spectacle, the unhindered divine light that enlightens all far surpasses the sun, and we will behold this brilliance with our spiritual eyes. As immortal beings, our worship will be never-ending, constantly discovering new facets of God's endless splendor and wisdom. While heaven is our ultimate destination, Scripture suggests that believers may not be confined exclusively to heaven. For instance, Paul indicates that Christians will even judge angels and the world itself, 1 Corinthians 6, 3. Furthermore, those who endure suffering for Christ now will reign with him later, 2 Timothy 2, 12. Our earthly deeds done in faithfulness will follow us into eternity, resulting in righteous responsibilities and abundant rewards, Matthew 16, 27. Equipped with new, indestructible spiritual bodies infused with divine energy but free from sinful burdens, we will rule over cities, nations, and lands in the new heavens and earth. We may visit the magnificent heavenly capital, but will also work alongside God and fellow heirs throughout the renewed creation. Just as the Lord worked in crafting Eden before Adam's fall, we will rediscover our holy calling, fully realized under His perfect wisdom and guidance. Endless adventures and opportunities await us. Correcting common misconceptions about our eternal existence involves dispelling fanciful assumptions that often contradict tangible biblical truths. While cartoons depicting souls floating on clouds, strumming harps, may entertain, they overlook the reality revealed in Scripture. One common misunderstanding relates to relationships in eternity. Although we may recognize resurrected friends and family, Jesus himself stated that those made immortal will not marry or be given in marriage, Matthew 22, 30. Therefore, Earthly structures of marital relations and family units are unlikely to continue into eternity. Our primary relationship will be with Jesus Christ, as His redeemed Church, united as one bride to the groom. Another misconception involves the notion of gatekeepers at the pearly gates, as popularly portrayed. Scripture does not specify gatekeepers assessing entrance qualifications. Salvation depends entirely on Jesus' work on the cross, not on our own merit. All who repent and believe enter by grace through faith, Ephesians 2, 8-9. Additionally, while Revelation 21 describes giant pearlescent gates, it states that they remain open perpetually, verse 25. This suggests a welcoming entry process, far from the imagined checklist routine. In summary, biblical truths about eternity emphasize our intimate relationship with God through Christ and the unity of believers as one redeemed community. The entry into the heavenly city is open to all who come through faith in Jesus Christ, underscoring the welcoming nature of our eternal home. Popular cartoons humorously depict departed souls as ethereal figures aimlessly floating on clouds, idly strumming miniature harps for eternity. However, as discussed earlier, Scripture paints a different picture of believers as solid beings actively engaged in meaningful work, learning, reigning, and worshipping within our new indestructible bodies. The wonder of heaven emanates from the fullness of God's presence and the fellowship of saints, not from vaporous boredom. In eternity, we will continually grow in our understanding of Christ through purposeful pursuits in resurrected splendor. This journey through the wondrous dwellings that await those who have faith in Christ Jesus reveals that heaven is not some mysterious alien realm, but a dazzling, vibrant kingdom resonating with God's splendor.
Though words cannot fully capture heaven's marvels, scripture provides enough detail to ignite our imaginations. The jewel-laden walls, streets of gold, the flowing river of life, and the brilliant radiance of God's glory, illuminating all. Believers, according to scripture, will inhabit this paradise, restored to perfect intimacy with our Creator for eternity. Far from idle existence, the Bible depicts us actively worshipping around God's throne, engaging in righteous society, learning, creating and expressing our God-given gifts with new bodies free from earthly burdens. We will enjoy rich fellowship with saints of old, leaving behind the pains and tears of this world for eternal joy and renewal. While simplistic images of angels playing harps atop clouds convey a certain imaginative beauty, they ultimately fall short of capturing the complete vibrancy of heaven as revealed in Scripture. In the words of C.S. Lewis, everything that has deeply moved your soul has only been a hint of it, a tantalizing glimpse, a promise that is never fully realized, echoes that fade just as they reach your ear. My prayer is that this video has shown that the coming kingdom is not merely a fairy tale or abstract idea. Heaven is the ultimate reality that our souls, minds and hearts long for. Through Christ Jesus, eternal life awaits all who believe. Please share in the comments what excites you most about heaven. Did any specific detail from scripture capture your imagination? Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mysteries of heaven as depicted in the scriptures. May this biblical glimpse ignite your imagination and deepen your longing for our promised eternal home. Heaven, often depicted in art and culture, evokes images of a serene paradise beyond human imagination. But what does the Bible truly reveal about heaven and the activities awaiting believers? Join me on a journey through scripture as we explore the breathtaking details of our eternal home and the divine pursuits that await us. Exploring Heaven's Physical Nature According to Revelation 21 and 22, heaven is described as a magnificent holy city spanning over 1400 miles in width and height. Its walls are adorned with precious jewels and its streets are made of pure gold. The city is illuminated by the glory of God and the Lamb and a soothing river of the water of life flows from God's throne, lined with the tree of life whose leaves bring healing to the nations. This vivid imagery paints a picture of unparalleled beauty and divine splendor. Eternal Activities of Believers Contrary to common misconceptions, our existence in heaven won't be passive or mundane. Believers will engage in continuous worship and adoration of God, joining with heavenly elders and multitudes in declaring the holiness of the Lord Almighty. We will reign with Christ, participating in righteous judgments and responsibilities over the new creation. Our eternal journey will be marked by ceaseless discovery and growth in understanding God's endless splendor and wisdom, dispelling misconceptions. Let's correct some misconceptions about heaven. While earthly relationships may not continue in the same form, believers will be united as one redeemed community with Christ as our primary relationship. Salvation is through faith in Jesus Christ alone, and entry into heaven is open to all who believe. The biblical depiction of heaven invites us into a dynamic and purposeful existence, far from the passive caricatures often portrayed in popular culture. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, remember to subscribe to Bible Stories for more enriching content, leave a like, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends, inviting them to explore the wonders of God's kingdom with us. Until next time, may the hope of heaven fill your hearts with joy and anticipation. God bless.